welcome to Enterprise University. In this exercise, we will learn how to create bulk letters for direct mail to a target list of customers, prospects, or leads. We are going to simulate generating letters for direct mail. For this exercise, we will need our campaign, message, template, and a target list. In the first exercise, we learned how to create new target lists using the target list wizard. We discussed creating a campaign in the previous exercise. If you want to create a new message template prior to sending direct mail, please view the letter template creation in the letters and documents lesson. We have two ways to create new campaign waves. First is from the new campaign wave option in the campaign wave menu of the CRM module. The other is from the wave tab of the campaign form. We will create a new campaign wave using the second option. From the CRM module, click on the campaign menu and select Find Campaigns. From the list of active campaigns, double-click on a campaign to select. The campaign form will display. Then, go to the Waves tab. From here, we can view previous campaigns waves we have created. To create a new campaign wave, we can click on the Add Wave option from the toolbar or right-click on the list of campaign waves and select Add Wave. The campaign wave form will display. We will add a wave name or general description to our campaign activity. The default wave type is email. We will change this type to mail merge for mass letter creation. We can set the status of the campaign as it progresses. We will start creating the letter right away so we will set the status to in progress. Take note that we can still change the default current dates in the start and end date fields. We can choose the dates on a calendar or simply increment decrement dates using the arrow keys. We can add more details in the details section or go straight to writing the letter content. Let's add our direct mail recipients. From the general tab, click on the drop down arrow in the target list field and select customers with purchase and code history. Then, click on the Target List tab to view the members of our target list. We can exclude contacts by checking on the Exclude checkbox next to the contact name. From the toolbar, there is an option to exclude or include all. Here we are in the Right Letter tab. From this tab, we can compose our letter or use a letter template. In this example, we will send letters to our customers that bought a certain item and unveil the, to them the new products we are offering for the season sale. To use a letter template, click on the Merge Template option from the toolbar and click on the Refresh button. We can view a list of default letter templates. To know how to create letters for mail merge, please view the letter template creation in the Letters and Documents lesson. We will copy and paste a sample letter to the text editor. We will add mail merge fields to our message. Click on the merge fields option, then click on the refresh button to view the list of mail merge fields. Then, simply drag and drop the fields onto the text editor. Let's save the campaign wave. Whenever ready, we can generate the mail merge letters. To generate the letters, go back to the Home tab and click on the Write Letter option. The Enterprise Word Processor will display. From here, we can modify the text, add letter heads, print our letters, and more. We can also save our letters into file. Let's go back to the campaign waveform to look at our other options. We will discuss the following tabs further in the Manage Campaign and Campaign Waves exercise. Let's switch to the next step for Opportunities. From here, we can view and create opportunities generated by the campaign wave. 
Let's go to the next step for leads. From here, we can view and create leads generated by the campaign wave. On to the next step for transactions. From here, we can view all sales codes and sales orders generated by the campaign wave. In the Activities tab, we can schedule tasks or events related to the campaign wave. Thank you for watching. In the second part of this exercise, we will learn how to log outbound calls.